guys, uh, Linux Nat7 here, and today I'm going to show you how to back up your Xubuntu 12.04 installation. This is if in case you ever wipe your partition or anything, you want to back it up or something's been removed or there's an error or something in the future, you most likely want to make sure you have all your data safe and sound. So anyway, today I'm going to show you how to do just that. So first, go into your menu. Go into system. And the very first one should be backup. Go ahead and click that. <coughs> It'll launch up the backup. And folders to backup. Folders to ignore. And as you can see, the storage location and you can do a backup location and you can do a folder let's do 5-24-2012 go ahead and do that um, folders to ignore we're going to add that cancel um, we're going to move this right over here that way so when I back up my downloads how often is the backup Keep backups forever. Go into overview. And now go into your home folder. And you want to make a space to where you can back it up. I've already made a space. And go ahead and click backup now. And I don't have my hard drive currently connected. But anyway, you want to click back up now. And <coughs> it'll, it'll say that. But anyway, you want to click back up now. It's going to go ahead and back up your system. Depending on how much uh, space you, it needs to back up depends on how long it takes. For me, it takes around five minutes to transfer around to about four gigabytes worth of space. Um, but anyway, that's about it. Uh, that's all you have to do to back up your system. If you want to restore your system, you click restore. It'll bring up a menu and it'll ask you what folder you want to back up from. In this case, if it, if you installed like uh, installed something or you removed something and say you want it back, you could or un want it undone, you can re always restore. That's about it, guys. How you use the backup. Uh, it should come pre-installed with all your Ubuntu, Xubuntu, Lubuntu, and Kubuntu installations. If it doesn't, you can always search into the software center <coughs> for other alternative backup software. Um, and we can. I'll show you a few of the alternatives if you don't, if you don't like using the default default backup. And we have all these backups that you can add. You can add all these backups if you don't like the default one or if it didn't come with a default backup. You can add any of these. Um, that's about it guys. Till next time guys, I'll see you later. In the next video we will be talking ab I will be reviewing the Unity desktop. Um, that's about it guys. Till next time guys, I'll see you later.